she was withstanding that pressure early on, Ekinazio, and shooting some great shots, but I think it's that build-up of pressure that's allowed all the Aussies to get some tips. Yeah, absolutely. They're going for the line of the ball, and we're, we're getting reward for it. All right, let's see how we fare in this final quarter. Australia taking on New Zealand. Let's head back to Horncastle Arena in Christchurch. Your commentators are Ricky Swannell and Anna Stanley. Berger saw it, just got a little bit caught behind. And he's that's it alone in the circle. There's a couple of times she comes up short. That was great elevation from Watson to have a devil at that. Caitlin Bassett can see the amusing side. Well, they don't shoot far from that pole, do they? Either of those diamond shooters. Saunders. Oh, Ekinasio was on under the hoop. Oh, the work for Falau to get around Weston and Clout and then finish. I mean, they're finishing, but I think at times they could finish a lot quicker, the Silver Ferns. They are making it hard for themselves. Tippett goes one way, then the other. Cross court. Australia trying to centre play Sherry in, and she's just overcooked that. Made very few errors since coming on to the court in debut. She'll give the ball back to the Silver Ferns here. I think that was her first error. First turnover for Sherry in. Oh, likewise the other way though. And we've seen a bit of that turnover one way, then the other, and just unforced errors. Western held ball, no options. These are the critical moments for the Ferns when they get bored. Got to get it down. You can ask you a strong take. Oh, she's outside. Goal attack. Again, look at the work Langman's doing. Hitting the edge, coming off the edge. And there she is again, every second ball going into the captain's hands and her 160th test. Yes. And Ekinasio floats another one through. It just collides from her hand, that shot. Ferns close the gap. Oh, lovely take, and it's left the line alone. Clow went out for a look. The crowd roar on the Silver Ferns. from Jane Watson, and she might want it back. Wonderful Sherry and elevation. Great tap from Sherry and into Bassett. Smallest player on court. Little pocket rocket. As we see here around the circle edge, Sherry and she gets up high, taps it to Bassett. Good speed through court that time from the fern. Now it just slows back down and Langman has to look back the strength from Berger. Well, Langman needs to be careful to not look back on the line too much. We saw that at the World Cup, but at times I think they need to put the pressure on their shooters. They need to do the work up front. Oh, breaking call against Sherian. She and the intensity's lifted a notch in this final quarter. See Watson urging her teammates forward. She leads so well from the back, Jane Watson. Always hear it. Langman waiting for Ekinacio to pop free, and that's exactly what her goal attack does. Great patience from Langman. She waited for the gap to open with Ekinacio. Got to keep that momentum going forward, the Silver Ferns. Shooting 94% New Zealand, 90% Australia, all four. It beats the bird. Didn't see that one coming though. Well, she knew it a little bit too quick, Saunders. But they're having a great fourth quarter, up 6 2, the Silver Ferns. This is 
where the crowd are really going to come into play in this last quarter. Clout. Sherian comes forward, swinging across Villas Watson. Now Weston drives through. Or oh, touch from Rode. Good hustle, Rode. Centre third, up to the line. Point of bed, centre third. Advantage obstruction, win attack. Oh, the offside is against Sherian. So chance for the Silver Ferns to draw back level. They were five down at the end of the quarter. Or well, the start of the quarter, rather. Great pass, Langman again looking in. And we're back on terms. 46 plays, 46, less than 10 to play in Christchurch. Tip it. Has to go back to Brazil. Rory doing a good job around the circle edge. Oh, lovely take from Tippett. That goal from Tippett just allows. Footwork. Oh, the energy to go out, and that's against Langman from the centre pass. Footwork. Coach Killer, those ones. Now Australia keeping it short. A bunch offside. <laughs> and we might see a change here. Caitlin Bassett calling time. Caitlin Thwaites was standing up. Yep, she's back up again. As we see both, no. Well, it's caught Australia on the hop a little bit here because yeah. Tegan Phillip was also up and ready to go. And I think there's some confusion on the Australian bench. But either way, Caitlin Thwaites comes into the game for Caitlin Bassett. Rory with very little wiggle room on that transverse line. Centre contact. That's obstruction goal defence. Step in. Weston slinging it away for Thwaites onto the court at a critical moment. Sherian. Oh, good take. Thwaites. Oh, Watson read it beautifully. Couldn't quite get hands on it. Watson goes tumbling. Perfect. Lisa Alexander, Megan Anderson. Ferguson on. Oh, Ekanasio. So set play on. The offside not given. Play to the umpire, you are always told as a player. Well, you dare well, not look at the contact. Australian bench at the moment. <laughs> Centre, Liz contact. just thought she'd try and nab that one. As you would. And Ekanasio, who won the ball back, puts New Zealand back in front. It all started with Watson chasing that ball. Goal third. Goal third. Oh, there's such a din in the stadium. It's hard to hear the instructions. Ekanasio just gives herself room, was all alone. Just contact on the ball. Right. Three in a row for New Zealand as a two goal lead. It swings back in the Ferns' favour. Positioning from Watson, but she overcooked it. Oh. Berger getting pulled on plates. Yeah. Lights it to put yeah. up a goal. Yes, Katie. Come in. Awesome. The second most capped player in the Australian team, Caitlin Thwaites, and yet she's sat so long on the bench. She gets a chance. 
rock solid so far. Landman, no option. Weston will pluck it away. Stolen. Weston and Clout. In the back, wing attack. Brazil, go back for Clow again, and now they throw it away. Wow, that was great pressure from Langman. She went hard on Weston, caused the turnover. Yes. Great timing of release from Saunders. Shots up. 50 to 48, five minutes to play. Pulsating first test in the Constellation Cup. The World Cup Grand Final rematch has lived up to the hype. Unbelievable, isn't it? That 49% of the matches between these two nations are decided within five, have been decided within five, and probably tonight it's going to be another one. And that's in 148 matches. It's not like it's a small sample size. Yeah. Oh, Great take from Tippett. Both attack just step back slightly. Yeah, both defense comes in. Canasio Saunders again just keeps going about her business. Through the hands, Falau. Oh, good speed shown from Falau. More the quality she has, that's probably her most underrated, but her speed is without doubt. Tippett really coming into this game in the second half. Canasio finds Langman once more. Falau trying to give herself some space. It's not there. We'll go back and set the penalty against Liz Watson. Yeah, just got a distance. Wrong with that arm, Weston. Nice. Amelia Ann Ekanasio, one miss in the match, 97% shooting. And unbelievable, she's had the pressure of Weston on her, who's had a strong game as well. So Ekanasio really lived up to the expectation placed upon her. Still cool and calm down this end, though, from the Diamonds. Rory. Got to keep moving the Silver Ferns. They can't stay, stand still. Great timing of the pop from Ekinacio. She's strong at the front there. Oh, what a time for your second miss. Australia chance to level with just over two minutes to play. Sherian on debut. Oh. Finds Tippett. Good option of the pass into Tippett. Here we go, folks. The Governor General. The uh, New Zealand netball, Jenny Wiley, looking on. Oh, nice work to hold it up. And again, Tippett keeps it in play. Berger has got that back for New Zealand somehow. What a time to earn a turnover. 90 seconds on the clock, 52 all. Oh, the Silver Ferns, they know what to do. Saunders. Langman. Oh, there's just no opening. The goal attack. Contact. Contact against Tippett. Momentarily thought it was against the New Zealand goal attack. Great work from Langman. Getting that front cut onto the circle edge again. Oh, big shot from Ekinacio. Here's the turnover. Berger. The Silver Ferns have the centre pass and a one goal lead. It's like the World Cup all over again, Ricky. Contact. Come off the body. Bart is not on the side of the way. Falau comes out. Langman looks for Saunders again. Who's 
been a Trojans worker at wing attack for New Zealand, as you'd expect. Centre obstruction. Back, back, yes. The clock ticks down. Langman looks for a shoot. There's no option. Back they go once more. Oh, the yeah, the fans need to keep moving. They're just starting to get a bit stagnant, aren't they? Oh, but they're going, going back to Watson. Australia desperate to get their hands on this ball. Yep. And it'll be the slowest set penalty you've ever seen. Saunders swinging it across. And a pulsating test match. Results once more. And a one-goal win for New Zealand. And for the first time since 2015, they've gone back-to-back. -back. Victories over Australia. The Silver Ferns 53, Australia 52. Unbelievably, the last three games between these two teams have been decided by one goal. Such is the intensity we are constantly aware of when these two teams play. Well, they had it right from the beginning. Boy, the Silver Ferns had to work hard for that. They had the diamonds on their back. An exceptional display of shooting from both sides. 93% from the Silver Ferns, 91 the diamonds. Great to see Deputant Laura Sherian take the court for the Diamonds. A great start for the Silver Ferns. The Ferns led by five midway through the second quarter. Australia took a five-goal lead into the fourth. It had a bit of everything this match. And this world champion side who have developed into a formidable unit. Reward this very big, very raucous crowd in Christchurch with a one goal victory. Well, they talk about culture a lot, don't they? This team have got it and they're led by their captain, Laura Langman. She had an outstanding game. And we can hear from Laura Langman now. She's standing by with the Dean Wilson. Laura, it has been four years since back-to-back -back victories for the Ferns against the Diamonds. How good does that feel? Yeah, it's not a nice stat to hear <laughs> every day, but yeah, really good. We wanted to make sure we trampoline from World Cup to here. Um, I think, you know, some really good stuff and there's definitely some stuff we can polish, but um, yeah, great to be able to back it up. A classic trans-Tasman match. How would you describe the battle on court? Uh, probably Wimbledon, I reckon. Um, I think both sides have um, a, a great depth on the bench in terms of versatility, and we saw a bit from the uh, Diamonds. Um, yeah, I just thought it was an nail biter and it could have gone either way. Karen had a real impact coming on at goal defence. Yeah, um, she loves to get ball, and we enjoy when she gets ball. I thought she did a really good job to um, make a difference in 15 minutes. What was it about that fourth quarter? You know, it dropped away in the third, but you just came out with a new intensity in the fourth. Yeah, I think um, we reflected on what our keys were, um, and I think we were, made a real effort to make sure who we were passing to, we were looking them in their eyes and really giving you the sign that they were really going to get it, um, come high water or not. So I thought that was a difference. A couple of times luck seemed to go the Ferns' way, or do you create your own luck? No, I think sometimes the bounce of the ball definitely goes your way. We probably had a couple, um, and that, that's the type of stuff that you don't ever want to have to rely on. Um, so, yeah, we'll definitely be looking at that. How important is it to play in front of a sold-out crowd? You know, that's what winning does, isn't it? It gets people back in these stadiums, and it has a difference. Yeah, it does. It uh, was really special to hear that Christchurch had sold out, uh, and we hadn't been down here in a while, and I just think um, Christchurch are looking absolutely beautiful, and it's been a pleasure to be here. Hey, look, you're looking amazing. You're looking fit. You're looking fast. And it's great to hear you're back again next year for the Lightning. Oh, thanks. Thanks.